Hey guys, welcome to MD Trips. We're in the Sunshine Asylum. I'm wearing an elytra. I don't know why I didn't put it on. It was part of the map. I came in here with an elytra. This is a map made by Palat Palatpi. Palatpi? It's a pretty cool gamer name. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy is Russian because uh, uh, Saving World. Uh, because uh, the world is named this, whatever it is means. So, <laughs> or maybe that's uh, some other Slavish, Slavish language, some Eastern um, language. I don't really know. Whoa, look at me. All bare bones. There you go. We're back. All right. Uh, as you saw in the thumbnail, this video is not about this map, though. I just figured this would be a a, a fitting place to show it off. I actually haven't uh, haven't explored this at all. Um, Palat P. I have no. I haven't explored this. Does this a trigger? No, it doesn't. All right. Uh, all right. Well, is there anything here? No. It isn't. Okay. Well, let's just uh, let's just keep going, keep moving, um, because uh, whoa. Wait, what? This does not look like this is supposed to happen. Oh, is this just new new Nether they generated? Oh shit! But I'm sorry, Palatvi. I mean, the Nether update. This map is six years old, and the Nether update has since released. So, oh, this looks cool still though. It's a bit bare. Let's uh, up our render distance a bit. Yeah. Do you like this new inventory? Uh, actually, I'd like a comment right now. Uh, let me know what you think, because this is kind of a big departure from default. This is, by the way, based on Sfax's um inventory i'll show it off in the main game uh because it's loading right we did it last time it's like a callback it wasn't even funny but it's happened all right see so so oh well, i guess i haven't finished this button it's fine you get the idea T this texture is stolen by uh from sfax uh who made a who, who made this design for a button uh so i'll probably have to like i just literally copied his design and then uh, obviously made a pixel art and there's some inconsistencies that i need to fix uh, obviously uh, I literally just, I only, I have implemented this and I just kept it in the video because I need feedback. I want to know, should I do this type of design or not? Should I stick to what I had before, um, which was more uh, slick, more smooth, uh, more canon actually. This this type of this design is completely, you know, not, not Minecraft canon anymore. Just a unique thing, but it looks really, really, really good. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll do something like this. Let me know though. Uh, anyways, we're in this prison. This video is about Iron Golems. My name is Mickey Joe. And my game is kind of lagging now because I can't uh, handle a render distance of... of well, let's do eight. It's pretty good, right? It, 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 uh, look at this. Oh, that's where we were before. We couldn't even see outside. We couldn't even see this. All right. Uh, what I've done is I've added uh, some Iron Golems. First of all... Oh, <laughs> it's a very tall Iron Golem. We'll go with it. It's fine. Uh, first of all, I've re re reworked my Iron Golem a, a bit. Obviously, it now has uh, an emissive light in its chest. I think it's very cool. Um, it also... It has a... Kind of a 3D chest. I think this is a really unique design, really cool. I, I really like the way that I'm able to do uh, paints in Minecraft. For some reason, I can do really efficient like detailing with like limited paint. Like my my Ender Dragon as well. It's actually not that many elements and it looks really detailed, uh, which is perfect for Minecraft. And um, it's a big departure, maybe from the vanilla art style with the chest like this. But then again, I've seen the Warden's chest. You know, it's already it's already kind of 3D, right? Because it opens up, right? Uh, when it screams um, and it just looks so much cooler it's it's inspired actually leave another comment if you can guess what this is inspired by I'll uh, I won't do anything I'm I'm saving up for a new car um, so I so I'm not doing like a giveaway but 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 guess what this is inspired from this specifically the chess piece design not ignore the rest just the chess piece I look at the shapes of this and how it's how it sticks out and how it you know I mean maybe it's obvious but um anyways yeah so I re reworked remade my iron golem uh, obviously my iron golem has uh, two variants right because uh oh <laughs> what's, what's this placement yeah uh, because my pumpkins also have two variants right it's two faces there you go this is fun fact this is the face that japa showed off on twitter when japa was um uh, showing off the new textures when he was remaking the program art right uh, which was then not called program art it was just minecraft uh, he once showed one time he showed off um, a new pumpkin face he had made and then I actually commented, no, you shouldn't do that. Just keep the old one. You look minus 3D, you can see that, it's pretty cool, right? You should keep the old one because it's iconic. And then he actually kept the old one, but I included the new one that he made uh, as a variant. So obviously my Iron Golems have a pumpkin ahead and I th think both of, the, both of those have the, oh no, no, this is the Japa one. So yeah, they have uh, the variants. So they're already, it's already pretty cool. And obviously it's a very cool design. Now what I added this update 
because iron golems are so cool and i kind of like the idea of you having just one around your base to kill mobs or whatever i don't really know if people do that i don't think i i mean i don't really do that i guess i do that but then i just died but then i guess you have to build a new one anyways they're really cool and what i've done is i've added some variants uh for the iron golem uh golem 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 um like this one big hank I don't know if you've ever played Minecraft Story Mode. Maybe if you haven't, then this is a really silly name. Look how cool that is though, right? Isn't that the coolest? Isn't that such a cool design, right? It, like this is Big Hank from Minecraft Story Mode. And there's also Large Henry, which is just the same. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Large Henry. Now it's Big Hank again. Anyways, um, so you can choose which name you want for these, right? So it's not like I added this many variants. Anyways, um, yeah, Big Hank and Large, Large Henry are prison golems from the Sunshine Institute, which is where we are right now. It's what this map is based on by Palatvi, the Russian guy who, who didn't update this map for six years. But I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun, right? When you do a video, just do it on the map. Uh, anyways, anyways, anyway, 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 uh, Big Hank, right? Pretty cool. He's based on Big Hank from uh, Story Mode. Uh, he's a big guy. He roams his prison. I, I, he's probably kind of dangerous and it's kind of cool you can just choose to have this look for your iron golems right and i'm definitely gonna have all of them the whole collection of, of looks uh walk around my base you know and obviously these also have the the, the variants right with the um the fairy pumpkins so this is the japa one let's uh change the one with the there you go no oh, wrong I, there you go see now it has the the og face so so yeah pretty cool uh, we don't actually need to keep spawning new ones, but we will anyways, because, uh, oh, no. <laughs> what, what is it today? This iron block placement. We'll, we'll spawn more anyways, because I kind of want to have them all walking around. Um, and I already turned uh, my, my friend here, and I don't have a name tag with an alternative name. Because if you just remove the name, it'll just change back, right? This is Optifine feature, obviously. I mean, if you didn't know. All right, next one is Furnace Golem, Minecraft Earth. If you've played it, I don't know if you've played it. By the way, these are much less impressive. There are basically two new variants. It's Big Hank and then the Furnace Golem. Um, so yeah, if you've ever played Minecraft Earth, you'll know. I mean, I haven't even played it, but I know that there's a Furnace Golem. It doesn't look like this because the Furnace Golem looked like not the, not my Golem for obvious reasons. So I uh, re reimagined it uh, in the Minecraft style, um, or like in my style, I guess. Uh, it's a very unique Golem. I think it's very cool, unique take on the Furnace Golem. And yeah, that's another variant you can have in your world. It has, a, obviously it has animated textures. It has emissive textures, so does this one. Um, it's just a very impressive, impressive mob, I think. And a very impressive model. I think this is very cool. Uh, I, I'm so excited about this feature. I think this is huge. I don't know. I don't know if, if anyone's as excited as me, but even, even just the default, doesn't it look so fucking cool now with a chest like that? It's a small change, but it's, it, 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 it it, it completely balances out the mob in a different way, you know? Like, the mob is a lot more balanced now because it was so big, because the head was so big, you know? And now, I don't know, I feel like this is just such a great... And I'd like to do more. I'd like to animate the arms, like, separately so they kind of sway, you know? I'd like that. That would be very cool. And maybe maybe the legs also, probably. Um, he already sways, uh, which is a custom animation, obviously, which works really well for this big guy. I mean, it would even work for the normal Iron Golem. Or this is normal Iron Golem sway. I'm pretty sure I made him sway. With you and Howell's help, who's helped me a lot with my pack recently. Um, next variant, people are always asking me, hey, can, can I get a, um, I, you know, I don't like the pumpkin is what people tell me, right? They don't like the pumpkin on, on the Iron Golem. And it's a design choice for me, because you then a Snow Golem is also built with the pumpkin, right? I mean, you you, you get a, a, fuck it, I'll get two bucks of snow. Um, there you go, snow. See, it's and it's not pixel consistent either. It's like a differently sized pumpkin. Oh, right, we're in another rip. All right, well, you, you got the point. So, uh, but people say they don't like the pumpkin. So what I did is I added a variant without the pumpkin, right? If you add sheared to any name, um, it'll uh, shear the iron golem. Uh, golem, golem, golem is Lord of the Rings, right? Golem, it's just a golem, right? Golem is nothing. I say golem, it's, what? I think it's because my, sc my scroll button is like busted, it doesn't really work. The, the button doesn't work, like I literally can't, middle mouse button, uh, nobody cares about that. Anyways, um, sheared, yeah, so you don't have to pumpkin anymore. Why it's sh why sheared? Well, because if you shear a uh, snow golem, which I, you know, I could try to do it real quick. That's, that's, do you want to see if I can speed run shear a, a uh, snow golem, you know? All right, we'll, we'll do it. Okay, let's, let's spawn a few, you know, just to be sure that we can do it. We can probably do it. Probably do it. Watch me do it. Oh, I did it. 
All right, I did it. I did it, right? So you get it, right? So shears, uh, so shears makes a lot of sense, right? So that's right, sheared, uh, sheared removes the pumpkin. So now you just have a normal villager face, you know, that you used to kind of have big, big um, shoulders, but I don't really want to reduce the shoulder size. You kind of just have to deal with it. Uh, Cause it still looks really cool. If this was more your vibe, it's not mine, but you know, uh, go your gang. And then large Henry, obviously, I feel like maybe it's more justifiable if you have a sheared one, you know, sheared large Henry or sheared uh, or sheared big Hank. Uh, so because the face is more unique, right? It has like the, the the officer hat almost. You like my 3D tool in the GUI? Also a new feature, slick, right? <laughs> Which means that this GUI is basically really HD, but it's fine. Uh, Minecraft can handle it, turns out. I was always really conservative with like, oh no, you can't do that. But then, you know, you, let's do it for the feature because, you know, your PC can handle it. People people run epic adventures and specs, Tribute craft and shaders and all that shit. They can run my pack. Like this is a, a, a bigger GUI is no problem. Anyways, rent, o rent over. Sheared Furnace Golem. Bring it in, big bastard. There you go. That's kind of cool. I, I would do a Sheared Furnace Golem. I just wouldn't do a default Golem, I guess, Sheared, you know? I just... I don't think that's nice. I don't think this is this is a, this is such an underwhelming look, like the villager face. I much prefer the pumpkin, but then for large Henry, I kind of like it. And for the furnace golem, I'm I'm kind of fully with it, to be honest. Like this is very cool. Maybe it's the eyes that are more unique. So yeah, I would I would definitely have have a sheared furnace golem, and then I would have a um, um, maybe a maybe a reg regular large Henry. Definitely a regular uh, a regular a regular regular golem, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this, been, this is wild. Fun video. Uh, I have some more stuff to show you for the people that stuck around to the end of the video. Because I've, I've done a bunch of features that are kind of fun and they're related to story mode. So uh, if you like story mode, I'll, I'll just quickly go set it up and I'll show it off. If you're still, you know, interested in some more MJ. Uh, there's also more, more videos to watch after this, which you should do. Because I've made a lot of videos. Some of them are really wacky. Just go for a scroll on my channel and look for like... Like some weird, there's probably some weird stuff, you know? Like I did some cooking with bone water, it's pretty wild. All right, so we're back. I've gotten all my new mob uh, neighborable variants here and some carpets, I'll show you in a minute why. Um, first of all, obviously on my hotbar, there's a white pumpkin. Uh, this one disappointment, I mean, this is obvious, right? If you rename a, if you rename a pumpkin to white pumpkin, you'll get this variant. The, the texture will change. A, a big disappointment for you all, if you place it, it'll, it won't, that doesn't work. Um, but you can put it on your head and you look like this. So that's pretty fun. Uh, this is obviously a reference to Microstory Mode uh, in the episode A Portal to Mystery, I think, where they have all the YouTubers. There's a killer and it's Cassie Rose and she has a white pumpkin and this is that white pumpkin. So you can, I don't know, you, that's kind of cool, honestly. Like if you have a trophy room, like look at this. This is kind of cool, right? If you have the dragon head there already, and then you, I would, I would, I would do this. Put this in a trophy room, you know. And maybe you're really into story mode. Maybe you thought the episode with all the YouTubers really, was really cool. I have no idea. I didn't think it was very cool at all. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, white pumpkin. All right. Um, a pig variant that I added. Techno blade, uh, iconic, right? Um, yeah, I mean. There's a lot of people that have pigs in their world named Technoblade. Look, look at what's really cool, actually. I'll, I'll have to spawn a normal pig for this. Look, the pig's ears, they change. Look, normally the ears are up. And if you give it, then it, actually it's the best if I just get a name tag, because then you can see the, the, the transition. I went through all this effort to, or effort. I, I, I renamed this egg to Technoblade, so I wouldn't have to be, be clunky. But my videos are always clunky, and I'll, I don't think they're ever not gonna be clunky. I don't know. <laughs> it's also clunky on, on accident. I'm not like, I was trying to set it up and I just couldn't, you know, because I didn't anticipate that I would just have need a name tag for Technoblade so I could showcase the transition. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> all right, rant over again. Oh, kind of a rant, ranty video today, but um, that's fine. I lost my car, uh, can't work out. It's kind of a frustrating time in my life, obviously. I mean, to be honest, anyways. Anyways, I keep saying anyways. Anyways, anyway, I bet I said it all the time and now I'm just calling it out. Here, I didn't even showcase it properly. <laughs> All right, look at this. He's looking at me. Boom, crown on his head, ears change, ears change. Doesn't that make more sense? Because the, 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 cause the crown is so big and his ears go down, you know? Oh, and the baby Technoblade? Bet you wouldn't, you wouldn't fucking believe this. Hold up, check this out. Boom, baby Technoblade has a crown. Look at that, it's even tilted. And then the ears are, are, are um, 
are uh, it's a, it's a little bit smaller the crown so it's kind of pixel inconsistent still but it doesn't really work that's so big and i don't want to redesign the crown because the crown is what makes it iconic right it's the same gems and all that stuff and then the ears are uh, like that do you see that isn't that the best is that so cute i think that's so cute look at this oh this will be really cute okay w w watch 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 oh yeah yeah pixel consistent baby pigs not a big deal <laughs> that's what i added also look how cute they are they, they really do this do it for me man like this the beady eyes, like this amount of cuteness, that really does it for me. Like this is really cute. Like this really triggers my awe. Uh, I don't know. Like you have a system for like recognizing awe, cuteness, right? I mean, there's a whole Vsauce video about it. I remember. Look at this. Boom. Did you see the ear? Wasn't that the best? That was pretty cute, right? Okay, so so yeah, baby pixel consistent baby pigs is also uh, some uh, like a little bonus feature uh, that I forgot about for some reason. Then we have Benedict, which is the Eversource, I think it's called. It's like a pig or a pig. It's a chicken that uh, has special eggs, probably. Um, it's from like a story mode. Again, he has a little crown and he has a necklace and that's it. Um, yeah, not very impressive. Oh, this one is, what's kind of cool about this one is it's biome dependent. So in snow, snowy biomes, it'll be a white chicken. Because my, ch my, my chickens in snow biomes are white anyways. And I didn't just want to do Benedict and have him be always be white just because he's white in story mode. I wanted to have variants. Uh, so now you have, to, you know, you can have a Benedict in your world if, if that's something you fancy. I mean, I would still do this. Like, even Technoblade, like even, uh, well, Technoblade might be really kind of disrespectful if you just do it for fun. But maybe not. I mean, I don't know. It's all fun. Who cares? But, the, but Benedict, I would have a Benedict in my base, you know. It's like fucking have some lore around who the fuck is this guy, you know. And even if your friends don't know... Micro story mode is like, uh, okay, Big Hank, Large Henry. It's funny. The funny names. Benedict for chicken also, and then he has a crown. It's good, sh good shit, you know. Um, then we have one that's less funny, Blocko. Uh, and I first thought it was called, that his name was Blacko. And then I thought, hey, that's kind of racist. And then I realized, no, wait, it's a black wolf. That's not racist at all. Um, and that was an unnecessary thing to add to the video, but here we are. Uh, Blocko, a black wolf with a with a white snout and white, white paws. He's kind of cute, I guess. This worked. This texture worked a bit better in story mode because the wolf was still the default wolf, which looks more like a like a puppy, like a dog, you know. I guess. Uh, and my wolf looks like a proper wolf. But uh, but yeah, you can now have a black. Uh, oh no! I always do that when I'm typing. I always like it hasn't never. It has never not happened. I'm pretty sure. Then again, I wouldn't notice if it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, there you go, block off. You want to have a black wolf with like really cute feet and really cute ears and really cute snout? Name him Blocko, all right? Good shit, good shit. And then you can also just have a regular wolf, you know? Oh no, I guess I don't have a wolf spawn. Fuck it, I have to get a wolf spawn. Can I, I cannot believe it. We have to go into the adventure again. Look at this. That's kind of cool, right? Then you have then you have Blocko with the white one. You know, you can have two wolves. Right? Two, two type of wolves. Might have more. Might have the bone dog. Because they had a bone dog on my fur. I'm going kind of nuts with the pack. I'm just kind of going all in, which is kind of cool. Um, do you like my painting? It's uh, it's uh, It has a palette. And I I first like made it really detailed. I tried to really paint a skull, like make a big pixel art skull, which I put a lot of effort in. But then I realized it's a painting. It should look like a painting, you know? It shouldn't, it shouldn't be... A painting is flat ultimately, right? And, and there's paint on it, and and all there's no there's not really structure in it. There's not really a difference in material because it's all paint, and the paint is imitating a difference in material, uh, but there isn't actually anything. So I so the, the the way I did this like this, the way I did it like this. I mean, honestly, I just went into Photoshop and I reduced the pixel, the palette, um, uh, to to a satisfying amount. But I think my paintings look so good. Anyway, anyways, 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 that's really annoying. I'm really genuinely getting annoyed at my constant use of the word anyways. Anyways. <laughs> <coughs> That's a side effect of my um, bruised lungs and, uh, and um, broken sternum. It's the worst. It's not a good time. Um, all right. Uh, do we have one more? Yeah, we do. Okay, Luna is probably the most diverse one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh wait, wait, we forgot. We can have. We, uh, look at look at this. I added chicks. Oh. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Why does that not work? Oh wait, what? They were chicks for a minute. Oh, it's preferring Benedict over chi over being a chick. Do you see that? It was it was a chick for a minute. Do you see that? Wow, I didn't know some work or. 
Okay, I gotta fix that. I'll be right back. I mean, I'll fix it right. I'll fix. I'll fix it right now. Okay. I mean, god damn it. Do you believe? It? Okay, but in my defense, uh, these files get really confusing, and this isn't even the worst one. I'll show you the pig file in a minute. Uh, it reads it from top to bottom. So if you want. Uh, if I if this line is at the top, it'll just first look for a Benedict in snowy biomes. Then it doesn't find that. Then it goes to this one. If, if this wasn't there, right? If the skins one wasn't there, it would just it would go from this one. There's no snowy biomes because we're in the Nether, and then it would hit this one. And then because before the baby one was under, um, the, it was like this, right? The baby one um, was like this. Yeah, check it out. So this was the mistake, right? No snowy bi biome, but under that is the, just just general. Whenever it's named Benedict and nothing else, and the way it should be is first check for a baby, okay? Right, that was the fix. Let's just reload it because that has actually fixed it. It's, but these files, oh yeah, I was gonna show you the pick file because uh, these files they, they're a lot, man. I mean, it's really, I mean, you're cr I'm cracking my brain over this anyway. Sometimes you know, look at this shit, you know. I mean, it's it's I mean it's kind of linear if you have to think this out because honestly it's just. It's just trying to make sense of it, but um, and once you have a system, it just make it just works. Anyways, nobody cares about this. Fucking hell, me over here just talking like an idiot. All these <laughs> this video is like twice as long now because of all the extra stuff I wanted to show off. Like the extra stuff could have been his own video, but I'm so excited. I want to show it all off, you know. All right, look at this baby chicks, right? Isn't that the best baby chicks? They have a little oh, look how cute they are, and they're all yellow in every biome because it just makes sense. Oh, look, they have little wings. You don't really see the wing. You don't see the wings when they're walking. I thought it was so clever. You don't see the wings, but then when they fly, you see them. So they have wings. Or otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. They would just float down. But I didn't like wings in their design, so I just made them really small. Do you see them? Hard to hit. Hard to hit. Shouldn't maybe he shouldn't hit chicks. Oh, come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, I guess it works. Oh wait, yeah, that's genius. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is great. This is a great idea. <laughs> if anyone's getting emotion from these Minecraft mobs because they look kind of cute, uh, I'm sorry. Look, you can see the wings, right? Look at how cute that is. Bye, Benedicts. Bye, friends. And obviously the baby Benedict doesn't have a crown because I, I couldn't even, like, I don't even know how I'd do that. How, how would I incorporate any? I'm not even going to bother. So, yeah. Um, Luna, the next one. Uh, the most diverse, I said. I don't even know if that's true. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I guess we have to tame her now, which is kind of a pain. Uh, can't speed this up, right? I don't think. Just have to keep trying this. I wish him. I wish you would just, if you were in creative mode, you would just insta tame it. Just like how when you're in creative mode, you insta, insta go to another portal. Yeah, right, I get it. You were gonna reject me. Why did you even take so long? I get it. All right, I get it. Jesus Christ, Luna. All right, why is it not? Why is she not called Luna with two L's? Is that a missed opportunity? It's not very clever. Considering llama is like the only word ever that starts with two L's, it's wild. I don't even know. Oh, there you go. Luna. Look, she has a scarf, like in Minecraft Story Mode, right? Yeah. And then uh, you can also do a black scarf, and that gives her the prison scarf that she has. And then when when she's a prison guard, she also has like a little weird saddle, which you just try to imitate. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool, right? If you're into Minecraft Story Mode. Or even if you just like fair variety, because it's kind of cool. You could have, because if you if she's not called Luna, right? If you just have a, let's call her, te let's call her Technoblade. Now she just has the regular one again, right? So I thought this was very clever, because then you don't have to do a llama variant, because that doesn't really work with the uh, carpets. But then um, just re only doing it if, if the if the pig or the, if the llama is named Luna, and then only the carpet, the magenta carpet and the black one specifically change. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, well, that's it. That's it. I have some other features uh, to show, but I don't really want to because I want to keep some for the next week. Because I have a lot of con. I've made a lot of content. I've been doing a lot of research back shit. You should get my research back and do me a favor and tell your friends. My channel has recently reached 1k subscribers. I got in a serious car crash. I survived, but I lost. I lost an incomprehensible amount of money. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing a little bit of an MJ trips at the end of the po podcast. Jab Cap has said that he likes it. Jab Cap is a friend of mine. And um, he said he likes it when I do a little bit of MJ trips at the end of the podcast or end of the video. I do a micro video and then talk a bit. So maybe that should be the format of my videos anyways, because I like talking and I like micro videos. And 
um, yeah, maybe it just works. And you know, Exuma doesn't sit down at the end of his video and just rants about his life and smokes a joint. So maybe it's something yeah. that that uh, that the micro community would appreciate. Because I've and I've said this before on my podcast, but I've always I've recently realized that there's so many like older people watching or like that love Minecraft. Because I'm an older guy, 25, right? Almost 26, and I love Minecraft. <laughs> And I, there was a time where I was really ashamed of that, but um, it's like the, I guess that's like the arc of a Minecraft, if you grew up on Minecraft, right? <laughs> and there's kids growing up on Minecraft right now, that's the crazy part. I feel like, probably as immersed as I was. I mean, the game is a million times better. If Minecraft came out like this when I was a child, I don't think I would have ever played anything else. I mean, I'm still as hooked on Minecraft. It doesn't need, the, the analogy is completely unnecessary. Look, I have Minecraft 2. Ah, you can't see it. Look at my bruise, it's still there, a little bit, because I have a seatbelt bruise. Yeah, look at that, Minecraft Hardcore Hearts too. Um, anyways, um, uh, 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 yeah, right, uh, I had a pretty bad car crash, so now is the best time to subscribe and to tell your friends about my videos, um, because, you know, I'd like to get a new car, and I'm going to, uh, but then that's my savings, basically. Two cars. I could have bought two cars. You know what's wild about the car that I lost? I got my stuff back, by the way. A little bit of an update to last week's video where I told you that I lost all my stuff in the, in the car and it was at some depot. I got it back miraculously in some really thin trash bags. You just put a shipping label on it, the tra in, on the trash bags. And then the shipping company came to pick it up and brought it to my place. And it was miraculously everything was in there that I wanted. Uh, and the, main thi the, the biggest thing that I was bummed yeah. about losing was this watch, the, my iconic G-Stock watch. I got it back. If you watch that video, you'll know that I was really bummed out about that watch. I was still wearing my, my hospital bracelet. The second I got my watch back, I took the hospital bracelet off. I felt like me again. It was a good day when I got this back. It was yesterday. <laughs> and then I uh, had to go home because I uh, biked to work, even though my, I have a broken sternum and my lungs are bruised. And I... And I shouldn't have been biking but there was no one to drive me and uh i thought I, I, I don't know i thought i could do it but then i couldn't um yeah anyways <laughs> got the stuff got the stuff back and the wildest part is this is this is the thing i was the most bummed about because it's i can comprehend this amount of money like i paid for this you know and i also paid for the car but the car i paid for it with my savings that i had accumulated over the years so then that money i never saw that as accessible money right I, like, because, because, like, at the end of the month, if I didn't run my finances properly, I just don't have any money, right? It's not like I'll tap into my. I mean, I've done that actually. To be honest, some months I've done that, but like my saving, I don't really consider that as my, you know, my money to spend, you know. Uh, so that's kind of an incomprehensible amount of money that I lost on the car. I, I can't even like really wrap my head around it. And the watch is very easy for me to comprehend. I can be like, oh shit, you know, three hundred bucks, even though the car is like. I don't know, 10, 10 times and then a bunch of more times. Maybe like 15 times? I don't really know, I can't do math. But the car was much more expensive. But that amount of money is just like, oh, I've never had it in my hands. I've never I've never even had it on my account, I'm pretty sure. That amount of money that I spent on the car at once, I've never had that just smack dab on my account um, yet, anyways. So yeah. Big financial uh, setback, which is fine. Not telling you to get into my Patreon, even though I gotta say I've been making yeah. this respect for free and many people enjoy it. And if I put it behind a Patreon, I bet many people would get it. And I'm not gonna do that because first of all, I'm building a Mojang's asset, and that wouldn't even be allowed. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you could subscribe to our Patreon, but you don't have to. But subscribe and like and tell your friends. Specifically, tell your friends, right? We gotta kind of get the word out there, you know. And it's it's out there. I feel like it's out there, you know. I feel like having a thousand subscribers also helps. Like, the literal number on your uh, page, you know? Because uh, I think instantly the growth has been faster since I hit 1,000. Like, going from 990 to 1,000 took, like, really long. Maybe that was just perception, though. But um, then getting to 1,000, now I already have, like, 1,010. You know? Like, a crazy... That's crazy, right? By the way, this is my last weed I'm smoking for, I guess, 21 days. That's last time I did a tea bag. It was 21 days. Um, it's been a while 
since I did a tea break. I have basically been smoking weed every day, maybe skipping a few days for like two years now, um, which is maybe kind of nuts, <laughs> but I don't really know. I mean, it, it, there's plenty of people that do that uh, and it, it doesn't really, hasn't really bothered me at all. I, apart from obviously financially, it's a, it's, it's a lot of money. But the problem is that if you smoke weed consistently, you get a tolerance, right? And you can't handle as much or you can't handle too much. Right? And then you don't really get high, which is fine because it's, you know, I guess, you know, it's, it's not a big deal, but it is because it becomes more expensive. So you take a tolerance break. For the fact, this is the last nicotine I'll smoke because I've been taking these pills. Tomorrow I'm taking a double the dose of them. Uh, what are they? They are buprofen, buprofen. Uh, and it says retard on them, retard. So I'm just saying, uh, does it? I, I saw it last time. Maybe it was on the back one. Yeah. Pretty sure it says retard. Uh, yeah, look, it says retard. <laughs> and that makes me chuckle because uh, I'm a child. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I need to take this to quit smoking. Apparently, it's it's going to reduce the, the, the need for me to smoke. Um, and um, tomorrow I'm taking two pills. I've been taking this entire week. I've just been smoking and I take uh, um, one pill. And I keep on smoking. That's what that's what the uh, you know regimen says. And tomorrow I will take two pills and not smoke at all. And I'll take nicotine patches and then lower the amount of nicotine patches I um, I, I I I use. Right. So there's a mosquito in here. I saw it. I didn't see it in real life. I saw it on the camera. Um, so yeah gonna be quitting smoking gonna be really fun i can't go to the gym it's gonna be really fun yeah it'll be really fun not smoking but it's fun right i mean it's better it's I, you feel better you really do you need if you're smoking you gotta quit if you're not smoking never start because i'm pretty sure it rewires your entire brain and um makes you really dumb also because you just start doing dumb shit in desperation for the cigarette you know like stand out in the rain it's so silly smoking is really silly and it's bad for you obviously um, and, and you talk yourself into into smoking once you have a nicotine addiction. Like I've had a guy once say to me, unironically, and I've I, like many people say this. Uh, like I can I can quit. I just don't want to. And then I ask him, okay, but isn't that just something your mind tells you because you're addicted? And then you just look at me like, <laughs> like how, how do you not? Anyways, yeah, that's what that's what it does. You start all, start saying all this all this dumb dumb shit like I, I would tell myself like actually the high is better with nicotine and maybe it is maybe that's true but I, I can't afford to tell myself that because I can't afford to tell myself anything positive about nicotine I just gotta fucking I gotta treat myself as an addict with nicotine you know and the weed 21 D-Day it's been a while because mm. I'm gonna do another 21 tea break I've done that before good for your tolerant tolerance um but weed is not really an issue, you know? I can just do that. Like, weed is weed is nice, and I want to smoke weed. But it, it, I, I, if, I, if I put my mind to it, if I decide to quit weed, I can just do it. But if I decide to quit nicotine, I can't. I, it has never worked, obviously. So now with the medication and the whole regimen. And I think having the system in place also helps. You know, being able to say, one week you go... You know, it's like a whole system. It's like, a, you know, you don't instantly drop and you take the pill, you stop smoking. You know, you're taking the pill every morning. You kind of get it in your subconscious. Maybe maybe that's also why they do it. You know, maybe it's all placebo, but I don't want to know. I told the doctor that as well. I said, oh, I, told, I literally told him this, like, oh, it's a smart, it's a smart thing, you know? And then I said, maybe it's a placebo. And I said, don't tell me if it is. And obviously he didn't, even if it is. I don't know, because this is antidepressants, by the way. Um, and it was not what he originally prescribed me. But then when I got to the the uh, the desk, she said they said that this is the same stuff. Uh, it's just uh, this is within uh, my health insurance because it's antidepressants, and I, you know, <laughs> been depressed, and so big bonus actually. Thank you. Shout out to the to my doctor. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, starting tomorrow which is in 47 minutes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, right. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. New MJ, new me. And I'll be doing a recording of the days quitting weed. I like to do that. And nicotine, I guess. Just every day record a five minute vlog. 
at the end of the 21 days, uh, I'll have a long video that I can put out that you should watch. It'll be very personal. I've done one before. Check it out also. I, I always tell people to watch my older content because I, I put a video out every week. But but if you like this shit, there's so many older videos that I've also put effort in. And maybe they're cringe. I, I've, I've watched an older video... Now that I've grown even more, I thought I, then I already was, had grown a lot when I started YouTube. I was, always, I was always talking about that as well, like how I much had grown. But now I've grown even more, and now sometimes I cringe at my older content. But still watch it, because it's editing, you know, and it's learning about me, and it's my journey. Uh, and maybe opinions have changed, or like, you know, perspectives have shifted, or like... Maybe I was really high, and the shit I said didn't even make any sense. So don't take it too serious, but if you're looking for background content to watch... I guess you're, if you're working on something, Amity Trip's the way to go. But then again, who the fuck is watching me talk about, how, like, promoting how you should watch Amity Trip? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Is that an engaging thing to watch on your screen? Or are you just zoned out at this point into the video? Are you doing something else? You know? Because I bet, I bet if you clicked on this for Minecraft, that was really fun, right? Like, the screen was moving. It was like, hi, 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 uh, what do you call that? Stimulants, you know, that's what we look for as humans, right? That's why we, like, I walk around always, I have podcasts on or music. I'm, like, addicted to the stimulants, you know? So everyone does that, anyways. Um, so, like, the, when, when I was playing Minecraft, it's, like, high stimulus, you know, moving around, all this sh sh shit, this new texture, but now I'm sitting here talking, a whole meta about, like, how to watch my podcast. Like, how, how, does, how is that for a viewer, you know? I just wonder, do you just, are you really into the video? And then you just go, what, what is this? Well, you could click off. It'd be kind of interesting. Look at the stats of my videos. Like, when people, I wonder if people, maybe, but maybe you're more inclined to watch it also if you've seen me talk about. Like, if you, if you've, I've gotten your attention with the mic. Yeah, you you go for you go for the mic video and you stay for the care for my uh, personality. You know, <laughs> do you like this? My headset. Uh, maybe do subscribe to my Patreon. You know, I'm just saying. Are you seeing this? A rubber band. And it's a bit dramatic. I can definitely afford a new headset. I just forget. I, I can be in a, I have had this for months and I can be in a store, look at a rack of headsets and just, you know, just, okay, on to the next thing, you know, completely not, not, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't think about it. Um, you know, and it's been on, on many videos. I, I, I thought that when it happened, I thought I kept it for one video. That's what I said. Also, when it happened, I said, oh, ha, look at this. Ha, I'll keep it for the video. I, so, you know, it, it'll be on camera remembered forever, but now it's been months and this has just casually been there and no one's mentioned it. This is just like, <laughs> I mentioned it though, you know, like if I didn't mention it, people would mention it obviously, but um, I always mention it but, because it is crazy. And it's also not comfortable. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is crazy that I have this headset. It's crazy because it's not even on my head. It's like dangling. It's not on my ear. But I've kind of gotten used to it now. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to still have the space of the room to still help hear my voice, like, you know, like this and not like this. It is a difference, a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get used to this also. It's just get a new headset, and you don't even need to subscribe to, to my Patreon. Don't worry. I can just buy one myself. And also my car. I'm gonna get a new car, and even my savings. I'm taking care of that as well. So you know, I, subscribe to my Patreon if you want to help me. You know, like. Be, be dependent and all that shit but the, like i don't need it i mean it's nice but i'm gonna take care of myself i'm gonna get more savings so that if i get in another car crash or so whatever happens i'll have money again because the well is dried up after the new car i'm buying sure. uh which might be a kia because my stepdad has a garage a car garage so he has like the hookups you know uh it's wild how many people know about this car crash by the way like in my life like people locally like old restaurants that i worked at like the it, it has just spread and i guess people go to restaurants sit at the bar and talk stories and then i i work there or maybe i don't know people but like everyone has heard about my car crash and it is such a wild event like i'm very sober about all this <laughs> we but i'm like very you know like in dutch we would say nuchter that's why i say sober it doesn't really work translate to english as well uh, but nuchter just like very you know like Okay, you know, like, I'm very down-to-earth about all this. But maybe that's psycho, how cold-hearted I am. Oh, not cold-hearted, but, like, how rational I am, I guess, about all this. Like, I I hate the consequences, 
you know and maybe once i quit weed i'll have crazy dreams i mean i'll keep you updated once i do the 21 day tea break thing i talked about um because famously when you quit weed you weed stops your dreams right so maybe it'll be like really traumatic you know like maybe i'll have crazy dreams and wake up at night and i'll be like holy shit this i'm not as rational and and you know uh, I don't know. I don't know because that would imply that weed is suppressing something right now, and I don't. I don't. I can't imagine. But 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 then again, I don't know. To be honest, because I don't know what type of intense dreams I'll have. Because I've I've been through a lot of emotions. Holy shit! The most emotions in my entire life, probably, uh, like the past few years, which is interesting because I've been the best version of myself, and I'm the best version of myself now. So it's good to know. Uh, because there was a while where I wasn't, I was depressed, deeply depressed, and it sucked because I had a, but I also ha always had a reference to how I was, and I, I'm getting back to it, just quitting smoking is part of all that. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know, uh, it's just, it happened, but everyone around me, like, has, maybe they had these expectations of how I should have reacted, which is also really crazy, like, that they felt offended and they felt like they were the victim because I was being nonchalant about it, you know? I, I both sent a selfie to my family group chat from the hospital with my girlfriend and uh, just like, I guess kind of smiling, just like, it was a selfie, I don't know, I just kind of like, maybe I did this, I don't even remember. And then uh, they got really mad at me for being so casual about all this, but I, I was f covered in equipment, you know, like just, had a crazy car crash, lost my car. Everything is still settling in for me. Uh, maybe I was adrenaline up, like, why, why are you the victim now? Anyways, that was crazy. Uh, and I, I hate the consequence of the car crash, like the, the, the damage. I can't do, go to the gym, obviously, famously the car. Um, but the event itself, it's, it hasn't like, you know, destroy me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the next time I'll get it behind the wheel, it'll be like, oh shit. I don't really know. But maybe that'll be a good thing. You know, maybe I was. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't casual at all because my family told me, yeah, you probably drove like an idiot. And I, I watched. Remember my? If you watched the video last week where I did my first drive in the big, the first half of the video was my first drive ever in that car that I crashed. So if you're watching this, go watch that video, right? And uh, I watched it back and I was so careful. Like, I'm not like a speed devil at all or, or like anything like that. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching Emily Trips. Last hit, probably, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's see what we have next week. Oh, I have some more features to show you. So, uh, follow my socials. You'll get sneak previews already Twitter, Instagram. I have a Discord server, the link is not public, but if you DM me and you're chill, you probably get an invite, you know, it's invite only. Or if you get sub to my Patreon, you'll definitely get an invite. Just do it, maybe. Maybe do it. It's all good old MJ. <laughs> all right. Bye.